In 1994, American painter R.B. Kitai faced a firestorm of criticism after his Tate retrospective in London. Art critics attacked Kitai for his literary pretentiousness and being too Jewish for British taste, believed their savage words contributed to his wife Sandra Fisher's sudden death a few weeks after the show. Very bitter, Kitai left England after 40 years and returned to America. From there, Kitai fired back fiercely at the critics and their attacks on his art and him as a person. He, he accused them of inhumanity for mocking his emotional paintings about the Holocaust. Deepening interest in his Jewish roots meant that he viewed his paintings as a personal act of remembrance. Called out the envy and ignorance of his critics in his last literary work entitled Confessions of an Old Jewish Painter. Soon after, Kitai committed suicide. Since then, Kitai's reputation has continued to ascend while the Tate Wars of 1994 are a forgotten past. Paradoxically, one of Kitai's most esteemed works, titled The Killer Critic Assassinated and auctioned off for $5.29 million in 2008, was precisely aimed at those critics who had caused him significant distress.